Alright guys, welcome back to LJ Reactions. I'm your host James here for this video. And it's a little serious that I was going to start doing after WWE SummerSlam for all the wrestling fans on our channel. But after last night's SmackDown, I said, you know what, screw it. Let's start it now. So this is going to be a series of, because you guys know I get home late from Raw and SmackDown. So I go back on the DVR and I rewatch Raw and SmackDown. So I was going to do it after SummerSlam, like I said, but after last night's SmackDown, I decided to start the series today, which is going to be titled Unscripted. You're going to get no BS from me. You're going to get my real opinions, full opinions, no sugarcoating. I'm going to tell you how I feel about WWE right now, which, as for most of all, all fans right now probably feel, it's not in a good state. It's definitely not in a good state. And after last night with Baron Corbin cashing in his money in the bank and failing to win the title last night, I'm in. Like, screw it, I'm going to start today. So, my thoughts right off the bat. This series is going to be of, if I see anything big that I don't like, I don't agree with, or you guys can comment down below and tell me what you think I should comment on. I'll do it for you guys. So, it's, it can involve NXT, which you know NXT is not perfect, even though NXT is the better of all the brands right now that are currently running WWE. So, whatever you guys see fit, you want me to comment on, I'm going to go ahead and give you my opinions on and also, tomorrow I'll be giving you guys um, the SummerSlam preview and predictions for me. And we'll be having a live stream for SummerSlam on Sunday. So you guys can come in. I probably started around, show starts at 7. So, I mean, I'll probably let's say 6.30. 6.30 over here in U.S. time. I know I have a lot of people overseas. So, 6.30 over here. I don't know what time it's going to be over there for you guys. So, I'll start the live stream at 6.30. So you guys can come in. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not gonna sit there and have us freaking live react for the two hours pre-show, which I mean, at this rate, who wants to watch the two-hour pre-show? So I'll start at six thirty. So tomorrow, I'll also be uploading my SummerSlam preview and predictions for you guys. So back to this topic: Baron Corbin cashing in and failing to cash in. So now Baron Corbin joins John Cena and Damian Sandow as failed cash in attempts. My thoughts on it right off the bat: He shouldn't have cashed in. It was stupid. I don't know why they did that just to add fuel to the heat, which, like, I, if you guys watch JD from NY, who was my favorite um, YouTube podcast on here for WWE, why would Baron Corbin cash in on SmackDown, first of all? And also, why would John Cena get involved in the match last night anyways? I mean, if I was John Cena, okay, I hear the bell ring. I hear Baron Corbin's cashing in. Why am I interfering to screw him over? My match Sunday becomes a WWE title match. Why would I get involved? First off the bat, Baron Corbin shouldn't even cashed in last night. If I was WWE, either he cashes in on SummerSlam and makes it a triple threat match like Seth Rollins did against Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns. And he pins Ginger Mahal. That way you keep Shinsuke Nakamura clean. He takes no pinfalls. You can go ahead and go with Baron Corbin versus Shinsuke for a two-month feud if you want to do something like that. First off the bat... What does this do for Baron Corbin, people? What does it do for Baron Corbin? Because right now, as we know, John Cena, SummerSlam track record. He lost last year to AJ. The year before, I think he lost to Seth Rollins. I'm correct, right? He lost to Seth Rollins, I think, correct? The year before that, he lost to Brock Lesnar. The year before that, he lost to Daniel Bryan. And the year before that, I believe he lost to CM Punk and Big Show, if I'm correct. So that's five straight SummerSlam losses for John Cena. Right off the bat, when Barry Corbin and John Cena was announced, I was like, John Cena's definitely going to win the match at SummerSlam because he's going to cash in and, and, and at Shinsuke and Jinder Mahal, and he'll be the champion after SummerSlam. So you're telling me John Cena's lost five straight matches at SummerSlam is going to lose to Baron Corbin this Sunday. You really believe that? First, John Cena's demoted to a mid-card match at SummerSlam, and he's going to take the pinfall clean to Baron Corbin. <laughs> you're funny, people. You're funny. So, I mean, I off the bat thought Baron Corbin was going to lose to John Cena Sunday. So now, Baron Corbin has no money to bank contract. He's fighting John Cena Sunday. He's going to lose. I think he's going to lose to, to John Cena. Unless he beats John Cena with the inch of his life, which we know now John Cena just got the, um, the gig for Transformers. He's going to replace him off Wahlberg and the Bumby spinoff. So, unless somehow Baron Corbin beats John Cena... Then takes him out, beats him up, makes John Cena bleed, people. Yeah, he would have to make him bleed. And John Cena goes off to do Transformers. Okay, Baron Corbin got the heat. He busts open John Cena. He beat him clean. Okay. 
And I think Shinsuke is going to be Jinder Mahal. So you can go ahead and deal with that Baron Corbin versus Shinsuke feud. That's the only thing here that will make it right. But if he loses to John Cena Sunday, he'll be Damian Sandow. He'll be pointless. He'll be irrelevant. He'll be, I don't care about Baron Corbin. Yeah, you have a cool-ass finisher, but... Dude, you just lost to Johnson and Clean, and you lost your money in bank contract, and you lost by a roll up to Jinder Mahal, who's probably, I, honestly, I think Baron Corbin's a better athlete than Jinder Mahal, and a better wrestler. So you lost to a guy who's not a better wrestler than you, and who's not a better athlete than you, and you lost your cash in the tent. Now, as far as SmackDown writing team, uh, Road Dog, and whoever else is the writing team, Michael P.S. Hayes, what were you thinking? Like, seriously, man. I mean,. Wow, you want to go out a bang, a bang for SmackDown going to SummerSlam to make me want to buy SummerSlam or buy the network. You didn't do neither of them. <laughs> you didn't do neither of them, man. So I don't know what is going to happen to Baron Corbin. I think he's going to lose to John Cena clean. I think it's going to happen. Either Baron Corbin has to beat John Cena clean, bust him up. John Cena goes do his Transformer thing. Baron Corbin goes future with Shinsuke Nakamura. That's the only thing I can see for Baron Corbin right now, man. It's the only thing I can see you can do for Baron Corbin. Because you just wasted his money to bank. Not only you wasted his money to bank, you wasted uh, Sami Zayn, I think, was in that match. Nakamura was in that match. AJ was in the match. Kevin Owens was in the match. You wasted four other guys who could have won. You wasted Sami Zayn, which I was, I was rooting for Sami Zayn to win money in bank. That would have been a perfect guy that would carry the money bank briefcase around, Sami Zayn. So you wasted four other guys' potential opportunity to win money in the bank. Stupid, 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 stupid. I don't know, guys. Let me know what you think down below. What do you think is going to happen to Baron Corbin? Do you think he's going to beat John Cena at SummerSlam? Because, you know, if he doesn't beat John Cena at SummerSlam, his career is over, bro. His career... I know it's hard to say his career is over, but you just lost your money bank contract. You're going to lose clean to John Cena. What else would you do with Baron Corbin on SmackDown? As you can see what they're doing, Sami Zayn right now and Ty Dillinger. Uh, who else? Chad Gable. Uh, I mean... There's a bunch of people on the roster not being used. I mean, Dolph Ziggler. Where has Dolph Ziggler been since Money in the Bank, people? You see what I mean? They're not using the talent that they have right now. So you think you're going to trust them with Baron Corbin, who just lost his Money in the Bank contract, and it's going to probably lose clean to John Cena. You think they're going to rebuild him? <laughs> like, seriously right now? No, I don't trust them. I don't trust them, guys. Comment down below. What do you think? Are they going to do with Baron Corbin? Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel, which... I'm going to be doing more of this un unscripted podcast for you guys. Let me know what you think you want me to talk about. I mean, we'll see what they do with Baron Corbin, man, Sunday. Don't forget, tomorrow I'll be uploading my SummerSlam preview and predictions videos right here on the channel. And then Sunday I will be live streaming, say, again, I say 6.30. That's the perfect time. I usually give you guys about 30 minutes to come in, I think. We'll probably have the second pre-show match, but I think it'll be Neville versus Tazawa starting that time. And then you guys just come in, give me your thoughts of what you think is going to happen on the show. I know I have a lot of huge Seth Rollins and Dean, Ambr Dean Ambrose fans out there, so I'm sure you guys will be happy. I think they're going to win the belts, too. That's a little preview for tomorrow, guys. So if you like the video, comment down below. The social media links will be down below. And catch me tomorrow where I'll be uploading my preview predictions for SummerSlam. And I'll probably give you NXT predictions, too, because I'll be getting off work late Saturday. So, I mean, if you guys want me to live stream NXT, I'll probably be home around 9 o'clock. So, I mean... At least we'll be able to see the two main events. And if you want me to do that, just let me know down below. Catch you guys tomorrow. Have a blessed day.